Welcome back to KG Gaming, guys. In today's video, we are back playing Red Dead Redemption. This right here was the last Red Dead video. We hunted down the legendary moose. And before that, we hunted down the legendary big white bison. In way of the series, I want to go after some kind of legendary animal. But at the moment, I'm not exactly sure how we're going to do that. First thing I'm going to do is just tear down camp because we can't stay here. After that, we're going to go ahead and hop on LeBron James just because, you know, that's my horse. That's literally my ride or die. Or in this case ride or walk everywhere and i ain't about to do that let's go ahead and get out in the field and then we'll pull out a map i think some old guy at the beginning of the story gave me a map that showed where all the legendary animals were legendary animal map yes all right let's see what we got all right if we look close we have the legendary bison up top anyways right there i don't know how to show you guys what i'm pointing at right over there you got the white bison then far right we killed the moose i'm thinking since we're already in the area let's go for the legendary fox i know it was kind of hard to see what I was talking about on the map since I can't actually point to it, but now I can point to it. We just killed the legendary coyote, which is right here, right around Matlock Pond. We have, a, I believe that to be a fox. So let's just put our marker right here. We're just going to go after it. But before we go after that, we're going to practice a little bit, okay? And we're going to take out some smaller animals like coyotes and fox just for practice. That right there should be perfect for killing a fox. If I want to go the stealth approach or just, you know, long distance approach, that should be perfect. If there's an animal way off, I see the fox what we're we gonna do we're gonna look way over there think it pelt it right in the side of the face just like that dude let's see how many stars we got from that though three stars let's think it go dude that's literally perfect now for the next scenario let's say that this fox is running from us and we're on horseback what's the plan now we pull out the double barrel shoddy and let's stink and chase it down okay let's find an animal let's find some prey and let's get some practice in there we go what even is that a badger oh my goodness i've never even seen that thing get out the varmint rifle dude we actually need this how did I not kill that? Got it that time, you little weasel looking thing. I bet I don't have three stars anymore since I shot it twice. Dang it! That's literally the only reason I pursued this thing is because it had three stars. Anyways, back to the double barrel shoddy. Let's chase something down and uh, see if we can kill it. It ain't gonna be nothing fancy. It's just gotta be something. There's something right there. Is it already dead? It's already dead. You got a problem? You want a problem? I'll give you a problem. That's right. Yep. Get out of here, son. Anyways, let's go ahead and find us a fox or something. We gotta get practice up for this fox, dude. Up here's something else. What is that? I just shot at two rabbits point blank and didn't kill them. That's not a good start, okay? I'm thinking since we're in fox territory, let's go ahead, find a deer, shoot it, leave it lay, and then hunt whatever walks on top of it and tries to eat it. First, we just gotta find the dang deer, though. Apparently, they're hiding or something. You're kidding me. There ain't no deer out there? Me and LeBron's literally like a cohesive unit. There ain't nothing stopping us from taking over the world, dude. Like, we'll literally trample that fox if he wants to roll that way. Looks like we ain't getting no more practice, son. I got some good practice for us. Alright, let's go. It's a decent little ride away, so I'm sure we'll probably find some kind of foxes to get into on the way there. Howdy, brother. You saw any small rodents? Ooh, that's our chance. That's our chance. Pull out your sniper, practically. We're gonna aim right down there. We're gonna kill whatever the heck that is. It's a small buck, but it's a buck. Wait until he crosses. Oh, he's gonna drown. That's his own fault. I didn't in I didn't kill it. We've entered the animal place. Look for clues. Alright, that's her that's her clues right there. Oh what's he's Y'all stay here. I'm inspecting this dookie. Let me make sure I get the right ammo. Let's see. I'll take this one because I know it could stink and put the smoke on one. All right, but without further ado, I gotta track this dang fox. Oh my gosh, there's a fox. Dude, I don't know about you, but I think we go ahead and get some practice in. Oh, heck no, that thing's gone. All right, he went this way. Let's think about it. In real life, because I do a lot of trapping and hunting in real life, and I do do a lot with foxes. What kind of signs would a fox actually leave behind? Well, one, he would definitely leave behind his dookie. And I'm a part Pause it just to show you guys in case you see this out in the woods somewhere. Let me show you what Fox Dookie looks like, okay? Straight up, I'm talking Fox Dookie, okay? This right here is a prime example of what Fox Dookie looks like. Whenever you see this, the first thing you'll say is what the heck is in that thing? And I'll tell you what's in it, okay? It's small pieces of bone. It's fur. There's literally fur inside of the Dookie. You can even see in a little bit of these other pictures, that's been eating acorn, which I didn't even know that existed. If you see that in the woods, Dookie with hair. In it. You're in the homeland of a predator. Watch your back. They'll go for your knees. But what other little aspects will it leave? It'll oh, leave fur. Okay, up and under barbed wire fences, where they where they go under stuff, they'll leave some fur up and under it. It'll scrape off their back. Oh my gosh! I think the fox disappeared because the bounty hunters. We're about to fight right here. We're literally about to fight right here. 
Whatever, I still didn't kill it. Let's go take care of these dang bounty hunters, and then we're gonna get back and we're gonna kill this fox. I'm literally taking the fight to them, and I'm gonna bum rush them with slugs, and they're gonna wish they never tried to look for me. As soon as this guy goes over this hump, bad news for him, okay? What'd I tell you? Jane ready? Dead. Don't mess with my fox hunt. Oh my goodness. Now my horse is taking a duke. Anyways, looks like what we're going to do is we're going to set up camp again. Shouldn't be a problem or anything. Just set up camp, wake up in the morning, go back to the area, track the fox again. Oh my gosh, the bounty hunters are back. I don't know why the bounty hunters are so serious about this. They won't leave me alone. It's just $20. Check out my honor rating, dude. That's pretty good compared to where it was whenever I started robbing trains and stuff. Let's go on and get back in the area and try to kill that fox. Yes. All right, guys, I got bad news. I got really, really bad news. Look up there. I'm in the area, but it'll be some time before the sap sucker returns. We got to find something else to hunt, boys. The bear? Do we really go after the bear? Do I think I can handle the bear? We can't, I can't handle the bear, guys. I, I, I just can't handle the bear. Next episode, I'll go after the bear. But for this episode, I can't handle the bear. How about instead we come over here and we go for the legendary beaver? Okay, it's a lot less likely to try to kill me. We'll go after the legendary beaver. If you're liking what you're seeing right now, just come back next episode. Go ahead and subscribe right now. Because next episode, we're going after the dang bear. And let me just say this, the dang bear is coming home with us. Yep. Anyways, guys, we're going to head down to the beaver hut. Long story short, going to be honest with you guys, I'm probably going to get robbed halfway there. So when that happens, I will see you, and they will see my fire bottle. Oh, I ain't got fire bottles? Well, they'll see my dynamite. All right, guys, yep. I don't think we're getting robbed, but someone else sure did. And someone lost their lives doing it. Well, guess what? I have a shotgun pistol, and he's hungry to be used. How many more are there? I looked over and they just killed these people. And I was like, by golly, if they're going to get looted, I'm going to loot them, you know? I think we got some dudes coming for us. Gonna have you bleed like a... Is that our whole family or something? These are the poor strangers. They're the ones that got looted and killed. Now we're going to head on down. We're all going to try to get that beaver. Just came up on the area of the legendary animal. We just got to start keeping our eyes out now. It is a beaver, so most likely it's going to be by the water. So we'll just hurry up and get down towards the water. Looks like the first clue's right here. What would a beaver be doing up in this part of the mountain? Picking down trees, of course. Broken okay. sticks. Literally exactly what beavers oh, like to do. Oh, the beaver went this way. Beaver went uphill. Usually one of the telltale signs of a beaver is you're gonna see a beaver dam or you're gonna see a bunch of trees that's been chewed up by a beaver. I've trapped a beaver. I've only trapped one, so I've not exactly done a ton of work with beavers. But yeah, that right there is what you're gonna see if you see beavers. Go ahead and inspect this. More broken sticks. You can see where he slid into the water. We kind of just gotta keep our eyes open and look for a beaver. Oh my gosh, there's a beaver! Oh, I think I just killed it. Let's take a go, baby. Texas heart shot on a beaver. Oh my goodness, that thing's white. What a beaver. Let's pick it up and just carry it around because that's some manly looking stuff, dude. Let's go drop it over here on a rock or something. All I know is my horse better be getting over here. I ain't carrying this thing all day. That's a big beaver. Since I got both my noble horses here, I'm gonna go ahead and skin up my beaver, put it on LeBron James, and then right here in the next episode, which is picking up right now, we'll go get that big grizzly bear and we'll put it on the back of my big steed there okay this was supposed to be a fox but the fox just didn't work out if you guys want to buy any merch to support the channel you can go right here to kindlegrave1.com slash shop or the first link description you can pick up some merch guys literally whatever you want we got real life hunting stuff real life fishing stuff knives shirts fanny packs all that good stuff come on over here click the first link in the description check it out guys and without further ado we will catch you guys on the next video click right over here for the video where i thought it was a good idea to try to rob a train or right over here for my entire red dead redemption playlist